Cass. I'm the Manager of IT Operations at Taronga Conservation Society Australia. I'm really happy to be sharing Taronga's story with you today about the success of SAP Cloud Platform at SAP TechEd 2020. Before I start, I'd just like to acknowledge that I'm presenting to you on the traditional lands of the Kamarayagul people here at Taronga and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Taronga is a leader in the fields of conservation, science, research, animal welfare, wildlife rehabilitation and environment, environmental education. Taronga is a not-for-profit and with an absolute commitment to conservation and securing a shared future for wildlife and people. Taronga staff, scientists and researchers are experts in their field. They work in partnerships with governments, universities and conservation organisations to support dozens of science, research and conservation projects and programs in Australia and across the globe. We provide education from preschool to master's level. Taronga participates in regional and global conservation breeding programs to establish insurance populations for species threatened in the wild, from Australia's tiny and critically endangered corroboree frog to the southern black rhino. We contribute about $15 million annually towards direct conservation work. And with the recent bushfires crisis in Australia, our work is even more critical to ensure that we don't lose our precious animals. So Taronga has two zoos, one in, in Sydney and one in, uh, West, in Western Plains in Dubbo. And over these two zoos, we create experiences for two million guests a year that inspire lasting connections between people and wildlife. So through our education programs, community engagement and envir environmental campaigning, Taronga works to create the next generation of conservation champions. Partners are absolutely mission critical for Taronga and we're lucky to have partnered with SAP and Born Digital for our innovation projects. Our SAP partnership has helped us uplift our core business systems to the cloud for our key functions such as finance, procurement, payroll and HR. And by partnering with Born Digital, we're able to le leverage their expertise and capabilities and extensive knowledge of the SAP products to do some really interesting and exciting stuff at Taronga. So at Taronga, we've used uh, SAP Cloud Platform to achieve a number of goals and in, in implement a bit of innovation at our sites. And I'm gonna to talk to you about these today. So there's Stacks, our staff experience app, which has helped us digitize and automate our business processes using workflows. We've got the Beads for Wildlife activation, which is an augmented reality experience for our guests and enables us to send messages of hope to the wild. And also our S4 HANA integrations by using the published SAP Cloud Platform APIs to integrate our source data systems um, with S4 HANA. So the first is uh, Stacks, our staff experience app. Our challenge was to improve the daily lives of our back office employees by providing staff with a unified experience that would integrate with our existing systems, streamline our business processes and autom automate some of our really cumbersome tasks. We've got so many time consuming paper based administrative functions at the zoo um, in HR, finance and procurement. So our aim was to build a feature rich responsive web application that provided a single entry point to different applications and functions across multiple business domains at the zoo. So we have to cater for a largely mobile workforce. So the app needed to be accessible from different platforms such as desktops, tablets and mobile phones. We had a requirement to provide critical and time sensitive notifications and updates on zoo activities on a common application platform. And we wanted to simplify access to all our core functions and content from devices in a secure manner using existing corporate credentials. So that with less time filling out paper, our staff are free to do their important things like looking after our guests, our animals, and working on our really important conservation programs. So when I refer to a largely mobile workforce, it includes not just our in-ground staff and our, our corporate staff working at both, both zoos, but also our staff that are deployed globally. So for example, this is just a team, uh, Taronga team at Lord Howe Island saving the birds there. And then on the right, I've just got uh, photos of our guest experience officers and keepers, scientists and vets that are, that are working in grounds. So this is the finished product and I just wanted to show you some of the uh, application screens. So the carousel at the top of the app shows the information such as the weather, my inbox for tasks that need to be uh, actioned and safety information such as who the chief warden is for the current day. There's also a third carousel image. So if there's an emergency in progress, an emergency code is issued, this image actually um, replaces all the other images on the carousel whilst the code's in place. That code can be triggered on or off by any authorised user, regardless of where they are in the zoo. So the next time Lucy the Wombat, get, Wombat gets out of her exhibit, the alarm is triggered and immediately everybody can be on the lookout for her. We've developed easy to use forms like leave requests and purchasing requisitions and are able to deliver our weekly operation notes that contain information about what's happening in the zoo, like construction and events and school groups attending that day. 
We've also provided a staff directory with a direct call out feature, a support form that integrates with our uh, Jira service desk and a link out to our survey monkey form for nominating a staff member for, um, for service awards. And most recently we've included uh, a WHS section uh, and updated it for the, our latest COVID-19 safe practices. So as part of solution architecture, uh, we uh, enabled a number of SAP services. Um, so Stax was built on the SAP Cloud Platform uh, Neo environment. There's an SAP HANA database for storing customised data uh, in drop, for drop-down lists in, in our forms. We use the SAP Document Service, which is a document repository to store uh, the documents attached to the forms. Um, the SAP Cloud Platform Workflow, and um, we use the SAP UI5 development environment to build the app. There's also a hook into Active Directory for single sign-on to be able to grab the user's logged information and to pass through authentication to other downstream sites throughout the app. The SAP Workflow Service streamlines our business processes and actions by automatically triggering, triggering actions such as email notifications and my inbox task when a workflow is started. So just in this example, a workflow is triggered when a leave request is submitted using the leave request app in Stacks. And that creates an approval workflow task for the approver and sends an email to payroll uh, once that's been approved. So by using the workflow service, we've been able to standardise our workflows and approvals across common tasks across the business. The Stacks app provides a single point of entry to different applications and features depending on the user's logged in roles. So this image just shows just a high level overview of the available applications within the solution. So I'm going to bombard you with a few statistics um, about Stacks. So since launching, we've had about 3,700 leave requests, um, about 3,500 purchasing workflows completed. So this is from end to end, from requester to approver, and it goes to purchasing to complete the workflow, and then purchasing issue or purchase order to the supplier. So we've gone from shifting a physical rec book to an approver, which is carbon copied and sent to purchasing, um, to an average of four minutes to create purchase rec and have it sitting in the manager's inbox for approval. So we've gone from printing leave forms and getting signatures on a piece of paper and sending this paper to payroll along with the other 600 full-time staff to an average of a minute and a half to lodge a leave request and have that sitting in the manager's inbox for approval. So previously these processes would have taken days in the Taronga world. So we've issued 81 emergency codes. Most of them are drills, so don't panic. You know, for our drills, we actually have somebody dress up as a gorilla and practice our recapture procedures. It's quite cool. And we've had over 111,000 page views since we launched. So Stacks has been a really great success for Taronga. What's next for Stacks is that we'll continue to digitize our, our forms and, and replace our other paper-based processes within the zoo. We've just recently launched um, new workflows for purchase orders and goods receipts. And in November this year, we're actually going live with Success Factors Employee Central. So we're gonna be able to use Stacks um, to pass users through to, through to EC so that they can see their payroll information, their pay slips, um, and do their time and attendance. So Stacks is and, and will continue to be the main portal for staff operations at Taronga. For our work on Stacks, um, Taronga received an honourable mention in the 2020 SAP Innovation Awards this year, which we're very proud of. So I'm going to talk to you now about the S4 HANA integrations that we're using SAP Cloud Platform for. So in April this year, we migrated to S4 HANA uh, Public Cloud. Uh, and used uh, SAP Cloud Platform to reduce our manual processing that used to occur when we were using um, on-prem on ECC. So we were able to leverage the uh, APIs available uh, within SAP uh, so that we could consume source files from our other revenue systems and post journal, journal entries into S4 HANA. We've been able to use SAP Cloud Platform and the APIs to take bookings from our ticketing system and then create sales orders and billing documents in S4 HANA for accounts receivable. And then we've been able to replicate our business partner data from S4 HANA and push that to our membership system. We've also been able to push our purchase, purchase orders and goods receipts from S4 HANA into our capital project management application. So a lot of these integrations were built based on the pre-configured APIs that were published for uh, S4 HANA Cloud. And the Cloud Platform Designer tool that was, was used to build out all the integrations, assign the connectors to S4 HANA, create the script, perform ETLs. So the tool's really vers versatile and easy to use, and we're actually going to be replacing our on-prem ETL tool with SAP Cloud Platform going forward because um, not only just for S4HANA, but for all of our other systems, because it has all the capability we need and, and more from, from not just an ETL tool, but also a programming tool. So our most recent development with SAP Cloud Platform has been um, a new bank re reconciliation module. 
So when we completed the discovery and explore phases of SAP Activate me the methodology um, during the S4 HANA implementation, it was discovered that the standard functionality of the bank statement processing feature in, in S4 HANA didn't meet our needs. So over a decade ago, Taronga had a custom um, ABAP program that was on EC ECC on-prem that would take the import of a bank BAI file, transform it, and then post those transactions um, into ECC based on a particular rule set. The transaction posting rule was selected based on text within the transaction itself, um, within the bank statement, and that would post to a particular GL um, or, or be a credit and, and debit transaction. So the standard feature of S4 HANA um, bank statement processing was expected to take us an, an extra 40 to 50 minutes a day um, to process than our custom program in, in ECC on-prem did. So the standard S4 HANA processing rules couldn't be automated without additional licensing for machine learning. So the staff had to process each line of the bank statement individually. Uh, and on average, our bank statements have uh, between 200 and 250 lines worth of transactions. So we reached out to our dev partner, um, Born Digital, to create, help us create a solution that will provide the necessary automation to reduce the processing time uh, for our bank statements using SAP Cloud Platform. Born Digital came up with a solution uh, to the user that was that looks seamless and, and appeared within the, the S4 HANA uh, wrapper. So the development included an app to review and post bank, review and post uh, the incoming bank statements, an app to manage the defaults for the bank statement processing, and an app to maintain the reprocessing rules. The apps are designed to replace the standard functionality in S4 for upload bank statements, manage bank statements, reprocess bank statements, and manage bank reprocessing rules. So the apps developed by Born Digital provide automation end-to-end -end for the processing of bank statements. At a really high level, the app facilitates the import of the BAI banking file into a temporary um, SCP HANA DB. It uses the business rules service for applying the bank reconciliation business rules. It posts a journal entry into S4 HANA Cloud uh, using a standard OData service. And it uses a custom Fiori app so that staff can view transactions that are within that HANA DB. So Java programming language was used to build the cloud application and the application processes bank files, applies the business rules to each transaction and it posts those entries uh, into S4 HANA as journal entries. The application also acts as a middleware to get and update data from S4 HANA cloud as there's no database in the Cloud Foundry platform. Side-by-side -side extensions have been developed and deployed on Cloud Foundry um, and the solution also uses the business rules service, which is used to maintain the bank reprocessing rules and is also deployed to Cloud Foundry. Uh, and that app is made available to S4 HANA uh, via custom tiles. And then a Java application provides OData to UI applications and also manages the jobs that import the BAI file from the remote server. The Java uh, maps the processing rules and bank files to determine the GLs and post lines to, the, uh, to S4 via the APIs. The Java app accesses and updates the stage statement data in S4 HANA custom objects. This app uses the clearing APIs to clear the open invoices when processing accounts payable and accounts receivable transactions. The Java app also reads the GL accounts from S4 HANA itself. So the UI5 apps are all developed and deployed in Cloud Foundry and the apps let the users review and upload bank statements and mark transactions for posting. The connectivity service is used by Java and UI applications and the UI5 app uh, accesses the Java service via destinations. And the Java app has destinations to connect to our SFTP server, S4 HANA custom objects, and S4 HANA uh, APIs for posting. So this is just a screenshot of the functionality uh, to maintain the bank statement rules. Um, access to this app is restricted based on the end user permissions for who can uh, update and maintain the rule table. The rules are maintained uh, manually or can be imported uh, via Excel. Uh, and a single rule can cover multiple narratives uh, for uh, incoming or outgoing transactions. So this results in a reduction of the number of rules that are needed overall. The rules can be accessed globally by anyone who has access to the app. This improves on S4 HANA because you had to copy rules individually to each user profile in S4 HANA and ended up with hundreds of rules uh, across the business. So by using these rules, we expect that auto posting rates will increase to 80% so that staff are only looking at manually reprocessing less than 20% of the transaction exceptions. So the UI5 app has been developed to allow staff to review and post bank statements. 
So the reviewed items are posted as a background job. The UI5 application accesses services developed by Java, and this service gives access to S4 HANA custom objects where statement data is staged. So the Java app provides a function to import and fetch a user's logged on role, um, and also does a statement balance validation. So all of this is done in the UI. So there are different roles and for different functions for the bank processing file. In review mode, it allows a, a finance staff member to review the transactions and confirm the correct rules are applied, such as a GL or cost center. The staff can then post a complete statement or partial statement. And failed transactions can be posted manually. So staff with a bank rec officer role can add and update the processing rules. We've trialled this bank statement reprocessing module um, for the last three months now, um, and it's going great guns. And as I said, we've, we've reduced our processing time from 40 to 50 minutes down to a less than 10 now, which is consistent with, with what we had prior to migrating to S4 HANA. The last story I want to share with you is our most innovative use of SAP Cloud Platform, and a story that also strikes a chord with me personally. So Taronga is working to support the Northern Rangers Trust in Northern Kenya. This region is facing its worst drought in six decades, leaving people, livestock and wildlife desperately competing for survival. The Trust also support rangers that are on the front line carrying out anti-poaching activities and wildlife monitoring. To support the Trust, Taronga is selling handcraft beads from the women of Northern Kenya as a beads for wildlife products at our two zoos and online. This enterprise creates a market for a traditional product, allowing communities to live their lives without damaging the local environment through unsustainable means such as charcoal burning and livestock rearing. And it also empowers Af African women to generate a reliable income that doesn't negatively impact the African environment and its wildlife. Together with Born Digital, we've created the Beads for Wildlife Activation within Taronga's newly opened African Savannah Precinct at Taronga Zoo, Sydney. As part of this activation, a guest can purchase a Beads for Wildlife product from the Savannah kiosk. Once they scan their product barcode, they can select a background and an animal face snap their picture and send a postcard message for hope to the women of Northern Kenya with messages of encouragement and support. This activation is a fantastic use of augmented reality. It's developed on SAP Cloud Platform by Born Digital. If the guest allows, we can project their photo onto our hero wall outside the kiosk for other guests to see. The guests can also receive a creator of hope email that will allow them to share their photo direct to social media and also to track their impact. The Beats for Wildlife Savannah kiosk went live in, in Taronga Zoo in June 2020 this year. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we haven't been able to use it to its full potential at our, with our zoo guests at this time, but we're hoping this will change soon. The Savannah kiosk is built on Cloud Platform, Cloud, cloud Foundry environment using ReactJS. The hardware is made up of tamper-proof Neo touchscreen kiosks, and a custom-built interface is served and displayed through Switchboard CMS. The architecture of the Savannah kiosk includes uh, two web applications developed and hosted in Cloud Foundry, the admin web application and the photo booth application. And the two, the two kiosks use uh, SCP identity authentication service to manage security. Taronga's own Office 365 uh, platform is, is used as the mail server to deliver emails to users who have registered for the program. And MongoDB is used as the content and data repository. Node.js provides APIs to the applications to send email with user-generated content to Facebook share links, and it provides APIs to store, display, and share messages, integrates a barcode reading library, and integrates AR design libraries for the photo backgrounds. Hopefully, you can come and visit us soon to see this great innovation and alternative use for SAP Cloud Platform. I just want to say thank you so much for your attention today as I share Taronga's story with you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of SAP TechEd 2020.